So we are going to this little farmer's convention in the Lockheed. And we're just gonna go fly there, check it out for a day. See see what it is. And we got we put uh dually wheels on the tug. So let's go check out that. So here it is. With the dually tire tires, because Mark sent us some um, more tires. We decided that we we're gonna make it dually. So we have dually tires in the back. Alrighty, we just ate donuts, so it's time to go.
think I shall leave my jacket in the airplane. Yeah. <sighs> Me too. So the flight was about an hour long. Super smooth. And because I was flying. No, you kept getting off course. But now we're gonna go look at all the farm stuff. So the flight was about an hour long. Super smooth. And because I was flying. No, you kept getting off course. But now we're gonna go look at all the farm stuff. So we just walked in here and they have simulators in here. What's happened though is our business has shifted big time from, from years past to today. So we're over and hit it. Yeah. 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 All this stuff is like. Strips are heated. I know. That's crazy. This stuff is like first class. About 20,000. Nice seats. The bed can tilt back. We should get this one. Uh huh. So what do you what do you think so far? It's pretty cool. You think it's pretty cool? Hey. We still got a lot more stuff to look at. Why don't you ask me? Well, what do you think? Well, I think it's pretty cool. Other than when Ethan went over there to hit the little bell thing. Oh. And he couldn't even get it to oh, go yeah. to I did, I did a video of that one. There was a girl just before Ethan that hit the ball. Wait, hold on. It hit the little thing. And and when he when she hit it, it went up to 600, all three of them. Ethan got over there and couldn't get it to 200. It was very embarrassing. Let's check out this thing. <laughs> this tire's bigger than me. Can we get one? <laughs> Can you mind? That Ranger or whatever, this thing is what we need. Brush Monster. Dang. What do you think about that? Woo! I think I would be I would be pretty happy having this thing. Me too. We'll probably be driving We'll probably be driving through the freaking lake with this. That looks like fun. Yeah, see how fast that thing goes? I can see us. 140 miles an hour. I can see us in here flipping it. Flipping it? And driving it in Good thing it's got a roll mud. cage. Yeah. I think you need this, Ethan. Me too. Ooh, so this is huge. Already bought something. Now we gotta buy something else. All right. <laughs> so we're going to look at horses. Yeah, you gonna buy you a horse? I wanna buy me a horse. I've been wanting to buy me a horse. This one. Look at this one. Look how pretty this one is. <laughs> Look at the other one just staring at him. You want to eat the camera? 
eat it. <laughs> he reached out to eat it. Pretty horses. Yep. Uh, look at this one. Oh wow. Hey cutie. There's where I bought my hat. Gonna plan on buying something else if I find something. This image from, from a professor at Texas A&M University, you know, I was helping him in some surgeries that they're actually cannulating that vein. And they had to go there and, you know, dissect that vein. We have bass in our pond, but we have catfish in our pond, so we're checking out the catfish. Both of those will bite you. How you doing? Good. Yeah, take a picture. You want one out of the water? Wow. So is he a snapping turtle? It's a snapping turtle. Will he bite you? Yes, he will. Wow. <laughs> he said, put me down. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> they call them snapping turtles. Is this one also a snapping turtle? That's a snapping turtle right here. Let's get this one out. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. How big can they get? Oh. Is this one yeah, this one, that, that's an alligator. These yeah. are They're huge. Wow. That's pretty cool. So this is a dragonfly before it got, gets its little wings. Wow. That's pretty cool. And you can see there's a grown-up dragonfly. And here is a picture of how a dragonfly emerges, sort of like a butterfly emerges. These guys do the same thing. You see their wings are all stubby and wrinkly, and then they pump the fluid into their wings. They do it at nighttime. And then when the sun comes out, they dry up and fly off. Anytime you see a dragonfly dipping its tail in the water, it's laying an egg. And that's how the cycle continues. Hmm. Very interesting. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of neat stuff in the water. That was good. So, uh, where are we going now? I have no idea. We're going to horse. Horses. 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 down there because it was so windy. Yeah. And that was bouncing around. So, he sent that to me this morning. They're just checking. Stand. Stand. Or standing cold. He said you rattle his windows every time you take off. Come go go to his house. Helping riders to, to enhance their training and elevate their, 
their performance in a competitive format, specifically um, focused on the ranch riding oh, events. Um, ranch riding has become extremely popular, um, not only in the breed associations, but in standalone associations like the American Ranch Horse Association, American Stock Horse Association. Um, so you're seeing a, a, a real insurgence of um, people desiring to, to um, compete on um, ranch type. Alrighty, so it was fun. Over here we looked at some stuff. We tried to find a knife, but that didn't really work out. So, my name is Jacob Hancock, and you're watching... j Pilot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs>